Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu friends welcome back to my channel I received a comment from my viewer saying that he has same model number disordering gun its suction is not working at all and its blower is also with less capacity here what are the troubleshooting tips there are many parameters that are involved in the operation of vacuum the first its temperature sensor must good heating element must good and it's this switch there is identification resistor 44k that must be present then we will press this button and it will start suction then we need to troubleshoot the vacuum first we will check resistance hold this connector in this way this guide pin in bottom in resistance mode we will test this resistance here it is around 6.6 .6 ohm to 7 ohms including the meter error these two heater elements these two pins temperature sensor these top two pins heat temperature sensor heater temperature sensor and this pin and the center pin 44k resistor 44k and now I will press this suction button when I will press it it will zero on this handle Forty four K press this button zero. That means the wiring of this desoldering gun is good. Now come to controller. When I will turn it on, it will show the temperature that it is heating up. Now the temperature is increasing. That means it is responding. If it is not responding, might be the problem in the controller. That time you will need to open it, re remove the circuit card and remove the interface from here. Then you need to check the wiring. If you press this button, <laughs> this LED is glowing green that means the suction line is good now open this chamber jacket close its inlet suction inlet with uh, your finger and now we will press it it is showing red light that means there is some choke, there is blockage in this line. The suction line is not clear. Might be in the tip, might be in this nozzle, might be there is filter choked. If it is not showing red light, in this way, if it is not operating, then we need to open the controller. But if we press this button and it shows green light when we close this pipe, that means there is leakage in the vacuum. What are the possible ways? Might be this pipe is damaged, there is any puncture, you can check that one. And if it is not working in that situation, move it to any other channel. This can be connected it at any channel. If I will press, it will work. It will show the temperature. Here it is showing 
sucker. If in this way it is working and it is showing the red light that time, we need to check the filters. If filters are choked, there is blockage, then you can replace filter with this part number T0051360499. These are available online and different vendors. Sometimes this glass is broken. If glass chamber is damaged, it will leak the vacuum here from this side. That time we need to use that time we need to use this glass. You can purchase also online or from the company. The next some time, after passage of time, it will space here. That time the vacuum leaks from here. In that situation, you can use this gasket here, additional gasket. The original, originally there is no gasket, but you can use gasket here with this part number 0051360399 you can use o-ring or you can use any available o-ring here between this filter body and this place so if there is any type of leakage you can check it if its glass chamber is filled with solder There will no suction that time you need to clean it if it is creating vacuum until here and after installing this chamber if there is any leakage that time maybe this area is in involved might be the nozzle is not installed properly now here is air button it must be 100%. If it is less than 100%, that time its intensity will less. Next possibility. Open this filter jacket for the vacuum. And here are filters. Inspect this filter body. If it is damaged from any corner. It also happened with me that it was damaged from this portion. If this body is damaged, that time we can replace it with the replacement 0058759726. Filter body for vacuum. If its filters are contaminated, these are choked, that time it will not allow to create vacuum because this line is choked so we need to replace the filters frequently same way is if this filter body is damaged that will also cause to choke the air passage it will not allow to create vacuum because same pump will suck air from here to create vacuum and it will throw air from this hole. If these filters are choked, these are contaminated, that time we must replace the filters and these corners must be smooth. Lock it properly. If the problem enters in this controller, that time we need to troubleshoot the circuit. Most of the time, the problem solves from here because it is very reliable. Although it is expensive, but it is reliable. I hope these tips will work. If it is good, give a thumb up. If you have any question, please write in the comments. Thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.